NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has just confirmed something Albert Einstein predicted over a century ago, and it's both astonishing and unsettling. Because what Webb has seen 13.5 billion years into the past is not a field of newborn stars or blazing galaxies, it's something much stranger. It's emptiness, a vast, silent expanse with no stars, no galaxies, and no signs of light. And that silence is speaking volumes, because it's exactly what Einstein said we should expect to find. When the James Webb Telescope was launched, scientists were eager to witness the first generation of stars, the so-called Cosmic Dawn. According to our models, roughly 400 million years after the Big Bang, hydrogen gas began to collapse under gravity, forming the very first suns that would ignite the universe. Webb was designed to find them. Its infrared vision can see through dust and detect the faintest traces of that ancient light. But when it looked deeper than ever before, past 13.3, then 13.5, then 13.6 billion years, the light simply stopped. Instead of galaxies glowing in the dark, Webb found emptiness, a vast region of nothing where even the faintest signal of starlight vanished. At first, astronomers thought there must be an error. Perhaps Webb's detectors were too sensitive. Perhaps calibration was off. But the data was clean. The silence was real. This was no ordinary dark region. It was a physical boundary, a threshold between the visible universe and something older, something Einstein's equations hinted at long before any telescope existed. In 1917, Einstein applied his general theory of relativity to the entire cosmos. His equations revealed something radical. The universe couldn't simply sit still. Space and time were dynamic, capable of stretching, curving, and expanding. But Einstein resisted the idea of a changing universe. To him, an expanding cosmos implied a beginning, a moment of creation and he believed the universe must have always existed. So he added a term to his equations called the cosmological constant, a mysterious force that counteracted gravity and kept the universe stable. Decades later, Edwin Hubble proved that galaxies were in fact racing away from each other. The universe was expanding after all. Einstein called his constant the greatest blunder of his career. But perhaps it wasn't a blunder after all, because that constant, a built-in pressure of empty space, may be what we now call dark energy, the invisible force driving the universe's expansion today. And when Webb looked to the edge of time and found emptiness, it wasn't seeing nothing. It was seeing that same cosmic pressure Einstein had written about, space itself, before light. To understand what Webb saw, Imagine rewinding the universe's history. Galaxies dissolve, stars collapse, atoms break apart. Eventually, you reach a time when there was no structure, only a dense fog of hydrogen and helium filling space. Physicists call this period the Cosmic Dark Ages, a time between the Big Bang and the first light, when the universe was cold, neutral, and silent. But Webb's images show that the Dark Ages were even darker than expected. For hundreds of millions of years, space may have been truly empty, not even diffuse gas, just pure expanding space-time. That finding changes everything. If true, it means our timeline of cosmic evolution is wrong. The first stars might have formed hundreds of millions of years later than predicted. Or worse, it might mean something else entirely that the early universe wasn't empty by accident, but by design. Einstein's equations predicted that energy is stored in space itself. Even when you remove all matter, all radiation, and all particles, the vacuum still holds energy. The energy of geometry. The energy of the universe existing at all. When Webb detected that immense emptiness, it may have been seeing that background energy directly, the fabric of reality before light ever existed. If you could stand in that void, there would be no stars above you, no atoms beneath your feet, only the silent expansion of pure space. In that silence, 
energy and gravity would have been in perfect balance. Any small fluctuation, a ripple in quantum fields, could have ignited creation itself. That's exactly what modern physics says happened. The universe didn't explode into existence, it inflated. Space itself stretched outward, driven by energy embedded in the vacuum. That emptiness Webb has now seen might be the first observational trace of that inflationary phase, the physical proof that Einstein's vision of a dynamic vacuum was real. But it also raises disturbing questions. If space itself carries energy, then the more it expands, the more energy it has. That sounds impossible. It violates the basic rule of conservation. But general relativity allows it because the universe isn't gaining energy from outside. It's creating it from its own geometry. In other words, nothingness creates something. That means emptiness isn't empty at all. It's the engine of the cosmos. And what Webb saw at the edge of time may not be the beginning, but the constant heartbeat of creation, energy turning into space over and over again. When astronomers analyzed the deep field data, they noticed something even stranger. The background glow between galaxies, once thought to be residual starlight, was brighter than it should be. It wasn't coming from any known object. It appeared to come from the very fabric of space itself. This glow could be the direct signature of dark energy, or as some physicists are beginning to whisper, the faint echo of multiple universes interacting at the boundary of ours. Because if the vacuum truly has energy, it might not be unique. There could be other vacua, other universes, each with its own version of space, time, and physics. Webb might have just glimpsed the quiet frontier between them. Einstein once wrote that the most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it is comprehensible. But this new emptiness is testing even that. The fact that the early universe appears too empty might explain some of the biggest cosmic puzzles, like the mystery of dark matter, the invisible mass that holds galaxies together. If large regions of the early cosmos were pure vacuum energy, they could have formed gravitational wells that later pulled matter into clumps, the seeds of future galaxies. That would mean dark matter isn't a new particle at all. It could be a relic of geometry, an imprint left by space itself as it stretched. It's an idea that ties together relativity, quantum mechanics, and cosmology. Einstein's dream of a unified theory emerging from the quiet between the stars. But it also raises disturbing questions. What Webb sees from those ancient voids isn't just distant, it's old. It has been traveling toward us for 13.6 billion years. But from our perspective, that region still exists in the present. It's not gone, it's just far away. That means somewhere, right now, that emptiness still expands, silent and untouched as if frozen at the dawn of creation. If we could travel there, we wouldn't find a young, chaotic cosmos. We'd find stillness, the beginning and the present coexisting. Einstein's relativity makes that possible. Time is relative to the observer, and that cosmic scales, the past, never truly disappears. So when Webb looks back, it's not just observing history, it's watching creation happen in real time. There is another layer to this puzzle, one that has scientists debating late into the night. Webb's data seems to show that the rate of cosmic expansion in those early epochs doesn't match the predictions made by the standard model. The early universe appears to have expanded faster than it should have. This discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, has plagued cosmology for years. But Webb's confirmation of emptiness adds a new dimension to it. If the vacuum energy in the early universe was stronger than expected, it could have driven this rapid expansion. And if that's true, then Einstein's cosmological constant, that term he thought was a mistake, might not be constant after all. It could evolve over time. 
In other words, dark energy itself may be changing, growing, fading, or shifting as the universe ages. That idea is revolutionary. It means the universe might not expand forever. If dark energy weakens, gravity could eventually take over again, slowing expansion and leading to a new contraction, a big crunch. And from that collapse, another expansion could be born. Perhaps that's what we were really saying. Not the first universe, but one of many cycles. Emptiness not as an absence, but as a reset. So what does all this tell us? It tells us that Einstein's equations, written with chalk and imagination in a world that had never heard of black holes or cosmic expansion, are still guiding us through the most profound mysteries of existence. It tells us that space itself is not passive, it's active, alive, shaping the destiny of everything it contains. And it tells us that when we stare into the void, we are not seeing nothing, we are seeing the origin of everything. For thousands of years, humanity imagined creation as a flash of light, a divine spark, a single beginning. But what if creation is constant? What if the universe is being reborn every moment as energy flows through the emptiness, carving new patterns of time and space? The Webb telescope in its silent watch above us may have just confirmed that. Einstein once said, space and time are modes in which we think, not conditions in which we live but perhaps he underestimated how literal that was. Because now, as we glimpse the silence between the stars, we see that space and time aren't just backdrops. They're the main characters. They are the story. So what do you think? Has Webb just confirmed that the universe was once truly empty, proving Einstein right all along? Or has it revealed something deeper, that even emptiness isn't truly empty, but alive with the energy of creation itself? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Cosmoscope for more journeys to the edge of the known universe, because sometimes what we call nothing turns out to be the most powerful something of all.